use the class surface integral formula. If R is the shadow region or the projection of a surface like S, defined by f of x, y, and z equals to c, and g is a continuous function which is defined at the points of S then the integral of G over S is called the surface integral. It's defined as the double integral over region R of function G. And then we have the magnitude of F, gradient of F divided by the magnitude of gradient of F, that unit vector P dA. And note that P is unit vector normal to region R. Let's go over one example. We're going to apply the formula that we just learned in this example. The example says integrate the function g x y z which is defined as x times y times z over the surface of the cube cut from the first octant by planes x equals to 1, y equals to 1, and z is equal to 1. There it is. So we have a cube in the first octant. So x, y, and z. And cut it by the following planes. It means that we're just looking at some part of the cube like this. Just match everything here. The same measurement. Okay, hope that's clear. And let's move this x axis a little bit here. Okay. Very good. So to find this surface integral or the integral of this function over the surfaces of this cube, we're going to follow 
the formula. But note that here you have one, two, and three sides, three surfaces that you're going to work with. Let us call this side A, side B, and then side C. We're going to take the integral over each side. For side A, we have the following. We have the double integral over region R of the function. Well, the function is defined as x, y, z. And we need to find the magnitude of gradient of f and find the magnitude of gradient f dot p. Let us define f. f of x, y, and z. For side A is equal to, so here you have side A, which is plane, plane z equals to 1. Okay, this is z, which is equal to 1. This is side A. Not just the plane z equals to 1, then it's bounded by the rest of the planes that we're working with later. So the gradient of f is equal to 0, 0 and 1. And the magnitude of gradient of f is equal to just 1. Very good. So, so far we have 1 on the numerator divided by. Now, what is p? What is the vector that is normal to this plane and has unit one, the magnitude of the vector is one. That vector is nothing but two. this vector, which is parallel to z-axis. It doesn't have any other choice, zero, zero, and one. Very good. So gradient of f dot p is equal to zero, zero, one dot zero, zero, one, which is just one. So the magnitude of gradient of p Gradient of f dot p is just 1. So you get 1 divided by 1 dA. Okay, very good. Remember that z is also equal to 1. So you can get rid of this z as well. So for side a, we have the following. This is the double integral x, y, dx, dy, and x is ranges between 0 to 1, y the same. Zero to 1, 0 to 1. So this guy is a half times a half or just a fourth. On side A, the surface integral is a fourth. Now we're going to move on to side B. With the same process. On side B, you have the double integral of x, y, z. And now we need to figure out what is gradient of f, what is the magnitude, and then what is gradient of f that p at its magnitude. So the same process. On side B, what do we have? We have x equals to 1. So side B is x plane x equals to 1. So f of x and y and z is x equals to 1. So the gradient of f is going to be 1, 0, 0. The magnitude of gradient of f is equal to 1. And then any vector normal to this surface is going to be p equals to 1, 0, and 0. OK. So gradient of f dot p is 1, 0, 0, dot 1, 0, 0, which is just 1. Its magnitude 
is just one. So, so far we have x, y, z, and note that our x is equal to one, okay? And then one divided by one, dy and dz. So if you do the calculation, you're going to have a half times a half, which is a fourth. So a fourth on side A, a fourth on side B, with the same argument for side C, the double integral is going to be xz, 1 over 1, dx, dz, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, which is a half times a half, which is a fourth. So if you add these together, that's going to be a fourth plus a fourth plus a fourth or three fourths. This is the surface intent.